Maestro Valchua. We are very glad to having you here, and uh, thank you for this interview for the spectators of Opera Vision. Uh, the first question we have for you is, what is the main idea beneath your choice to conduct this Katia Cabanova here at Teatro di San Carlo? It's my pleasure uh, to be here and to have a possibility to answer your questions. And it's a very simple question, of course, and uh, the answer might be also very simple. Just imagine uh, Katia Cabanova, Yenufa, uh, the Macropolis case, the cunning little vixen uh, from the house of the dead. Uh, all these operas make Janacek a major composer of the uh, 20th century. And I think that Janacek is not anymore a known composer one should be afraid about because uh, his music is now already a part of a uh, repertoire, repertoire of major uh, opera companies around the world. And um, more superficially, uh, uh, the answer might be also that uh, Janacek uh, was uh, died in 1928, so it's kind of a 90th uh, anniversary. And in 1968 um, was the last time uh, that Katia was performed here in San Carlo. And you know, um, of course, the the, the opera uh, repertoire is uh, dominated by Italian and uh, German operas, and uh, a little bit later come comes French and Russian. But in 20th century. Um, was also uh, we have seen also development of a, what we call a national schools, which produced some of the most important masterpieces uh, in music. And uh, as a music director of Teatro di San Carlo, I decided to uh, to conduct one or two productions. Um, in every season uh, of Italian repertoire and to give uh, the rest uh, of this space to, to, the, um, to this extremely uh, rich uh, European opera. So that's why we performed already Lady Macbeth and I have some other, other ideas. So I think that it will be always Italian and German repertoire dominating uh, opera uh, Opera houses uh, productions, but I think that also these kind of operas have uh, their space on the on the theater stage. Okay, thank you. And m maybe just to 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 say a small thing, you know, that um, Janáček was a very strange man, and he has a, he had a very strange life. Um, very early in his life, uh, some he had some very sad moments without entering in, into the date details, uh, quite late in his life, uh, some triumphant moments, he, he was uh, uh, energetic, he was uh, um, full of uh, temperament, um, eccentric, maybe uh, frustrated also, and those emotions are mirrored in his music and this uh, um, emotional veracity is what makes his music uh, special and uh, beloved. Thank you. Very interesting point of view about Janacek's music and according to this aspect uh, the next question is uh, the strength of nature uh, seems to have a key role in Janáček's music and in his continuous research of reproducing, some, reproducing somehow uh, the nature sounds into his musical creations. And how come this aspect to light in Katia Kabanova? Yes, Janáček was uh, deeply connected to the nature and so was his music. His um, home village, Hukvaldi, uh, is surrounded 
uh, by uh, wooded hills. Uh, and the nature gave him always the creative energy. And um, he was uh, very uh, inspired by uh, sounds of a nature and also a speech. He collected a speech melodies. Collected means he wrote down um, small phrases musically and rhythmically, which he later used in his uh, instrumental or, or vocal music. And um, he collected these small phrases everywhere. So on the street, on the railway station, cafe, market, uh, from all kind of social um, lives, no? Mm -hmm. And and he was sometimes uh, extremely precise about what he was writing down. He could write, for example, uh, it happened on Smetana's street mm -hmm. at half past eight in the morning. Uh, it was 11th of March 1927. Uh, some old lady calls uh, her shabby brown dog. Okay. And he wrote down this melody rhythmically and then he wrote duration 4,33 seconds. Some <laughs> extremely precise details about. For example, he also noted, wrote down um, crunching sound of uh, snow under one's feet. He wrote down the date, place, minus 15 degrees and the sound it produced. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he was all the time obsessed about melodies, sounds and of course these speech melodies are very often a reflection of inside world of of somebody. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes less important what a person is talking about, which words a person is using. Uh, what is more important is melody, reflecting a sort of... Melody makes a sort of a, um, photography of soul and sometimes melody is more important. And um, um, just come, let's come back to, to this nature in Katia Kabanova. For mm -hmm. example, already libretto is based on uh, Ostrovsky's uh, play called uh, The Storm. So already it gives some connection to the nature. Of course, storm has a uh, uh, double meaning here. It's outside and inside storm of Katia. And uh, thunderstorm was already used in his uh, previous opera, um, The Fate, but beautifully used in Katia Kabanova. And there is uh, one of the most beautiful depiction of the of a nature in the end of the third act, uh, uh, when Katia reveals under uh, pressure of a thunderstorm. Uh, her um, extramarital um, affair with the Boris and uh, she decided to take her life by donning um, her, herself in, in the river Volga and in this moment uh, Janacek gave the voice to the nature he gave the voice to the river. He already gave the voice to animals in, in his opera the, the Cunning Little Vixen, but here he gave the voice to the river and he uh, did it in a very special way. It's That's the choir singing off stage, singing O and U, very covered deep colors and it uh, reflects a call uh, from the river and uh, Katya can hear it and she hears this call and that's and a little bit before he jumps uh, in, 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 into the river she sings about 
a birds about free birds singing birds mm -hmm. and while we hear this call uh, from the river she decides to jump so into the into the Volga so there are all kind of of uh, different aspects of of nature inside and outside storm river and birds and I think that every almost every step of Janacek's music not only in his titles like in the mists or or uh, in also in Sinfonietta there are some titles connected to the nature was uh, full of of his love for the nature okay thank you for this answer so deep and so detailed and regarding the original score have you made any cut on the original one in this specific staging of Katia Gabanova here at San Carlo? No, they are not um, uh, cuts. Only small thing is in the second act there is an uh, intermezzo, uh, but composed by Janacek later okay. just to allow more time for um, technical things, so for changes. And here we don't have this problem, and somehow the connection without this intermezzo for this productions uh, for this production fit, uh, fits better. So that's the only thing. It, but it's only like like one minute of, of music. So otherwise we use the new, uh, relatively new, the last edition uh, from from uh, Charles Maqueras, who was a very important uh, conductor, he recorded uh, Janacek's music, he studied in Prague and thanks to Makeras, um, Janacek's music became uh, um, very, very, very important, I mean, and famous in, in the, in all, all over the world. Okay, thank you Maestro for your time and uh, we hope to have you again for the spectators of our provision. My pleasure, thank you very much. Thank you.